guys, it's Cartoon Game Girl. Now, I'm pretty sure many people know what SpongeBob SquarePants is. It's considered to be one of the longest running kids cartoons out there. Well, I mean, there are other cartoons that had lasted a lot longer, like The Simpsons. But, did you know that this cartoon has actually changed cartoon history forever? If you don't believe me, then I'll tell you. There are so many cartoons out there debuting all the way back from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. But Nickelodeon, one of the most popular networks out there, especially for cartoons, besides Cartoon Network, actually had a show, well, have a show, known as SpongeBob SquarePants, and that is considered to be the number one show on Nickelodeon. However, did you know that before SpongeBob was a hit, Rugrats was considered to be Nick's biggest show, having more things than any other network that had come? It actually debuted back in the early 90s, and just looking at it, I can see why it didn't last long. No offense, by the way! Also, even when SpongeBob was at its popular time, The Loud House, which premiered in the 2010s, actually was pretty popular. Super popular, that is, to the point where there is so much fan art I've seen on DeviantArt. There's quite a lot. And I can understand why many people will like it. I don't watch the show, but it's okay if you like it. I don't hate it, but what I'm saying is, let's say I don't watch it. I'm more of a, you know, Spongebob person, that is. Avatar, Hey Arnold, Invader Zim, and many other Nick shows are pretty popular as well. There are actually people out there who kind of like those shows. In fact, I, well, I don't know. I'm not really much of an Avatar liker. It's not my favorite show. I don't even like it. But my brother does. And for Invader Zim, I don't know. It's a little too, dare I say, dark and, I don't know, boring. But that's just me. And hey, Arnold, well, I used to watch it, but not anymore. I kind of changed my ways. As well as a few other Nickelodeon shows, I, well, I've got my selections. Although I do like Rocco's Modern Life and Cat Dog. Anyway, going back to SpongeBob SquarePants, it was actually the most popular Nickelodeon show. I mean, starting in the late 2000s and early 2010s, it just became super popular. Even popular than the other shows that were on that network. It just, it was really good. Because it lasted a lot longer, and it's still going today. And it had way more viewers than anything that had come before it. And the best part, Spongebob is the king of Nickelodeon! By the way, the show premiered in 1999. The very, very late 90s. So, is Spongebob a 90s Nicktoon? I don't know. But, I was born in 1997. Now, I wasn't around when some of the other shows from the early 90s were around. Or the 80s. Or the 70s. Yeah, I'm one of those lesser nostalgic people. Uh, I'm modern. That's why. But, you know, cartoons can be for anybody, especially me. But people have their own tastes, just like me. 
And as a little side note, I kind of want to see a crossover between multiple cartoons. Anyway, what I'm going to say is that Spongebob is the most popular cartoon. It really did change cartoon history. And one of the ways is that, well, it's like a modern era of many classic cartoons from, well, the 50s, 60s, you know, all that stuff. Disney created Mickey Mouse all the way back in the 20s, leading to some of the most popular films of its era. Similarly, Warner Brothers created the character of Bugs Bunny, who is the mascot of the Looney Tunes. The same thing can be said for non-animated stuff as well. Like Jim Henson created the Muppets, with Kermit the Frog being his lead Muppet. SpongeBob was created by Steven Hillenburg, a marine biologist who also was into cartooning. In his words, it all started with a sponge. I guess those are his words. I guess that was a quote. But who knew SpongeBob SquarePants would be super big? It was amazing. I love this show. Even though it had a few ups and downs, it was still loved by many, many, many people. And look at all the merchandise it got. It actually got way more merchandise than any other Nickelodeon show. It had more movies, had more episodes, had more specials. It's got everything. It even appeared on non-Nickelodeon stuff as well such as pop culture references, and appearing on some stickers and clothing, but did have permission from Nickelodeon, obviously. In my opinion, SpongeBob may have been around since 1999, and because I was born two years before, I'm gonna say that it's actually been around even before 1999. It's been around for decades. And that's what cartoon history was missing. A little bit of slapstick by a cute, adorable, yellow, spongy character. Well, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! See you later!